and gentlemen, Brews and Barbecue family. Welcome back to another exciting episode. On today's episode, we're going to be making a smoked pork shoulder. And what are we gonna be doing with the pork shoulder? Well, of course, we're gonna be making some pulled pork sandwiches. I've been up since five in the morning getting everything prepped. It's already on the smoker behind me, but let's show you guys what the process has been so you guys can make it. This is a low and slow cook, so be ready if you're gonna try this to be cooking for like 12 hours plus. So anyway guys, here is how I make my pulled pork sandwiches. Let's get after it. For today's cook, we're gonna be using this 10.9 pound pork shoulder. Let's take a closer look. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove some of this excess fat. This one does have a lot of fat. We're going to remove just enough. We won't remove all of it. We just remove the additional fat that it has that won't render down during the smoking process. And this is our final result. Remember, do not remove all the fat. We want to keep it so it stays moist. This extra fat can be used for some delicious hamburger. Thing we want to do before we start seasoning is just pat it down. Just pat it dry so that you don't have any excess moisture that you don't need. The first thing we're going to use is some good old yellow mustard. We use yellow mustard so the seasonings really stick to the pork shoulder. Make sure you rub your mustard in and make sure all of the pork shoulder is nicely coated. Now that we got our yellow mustard on, the first thing we're going to do is add some freshly ground Himalayan pink salt. The next thing we're going to add is some fresh ground black pepper. You want to be sure that you're generous with your seasoning. This is a large cut of pork, so don't be shy. Next, we're going to be adding some good old fashioned onion powder. And now this wouldn't be a good pork shoulder without a little bit of garlic powder. Make sure you're generous with this as well. Next, we'll be adding some smoked paprika. We like our pulled pork sandwiches with a little bit of a kick, so we add just a touch of cayenne pepper. And as always, you want to make sure you pat your seasonings in. And no pork shoulder would be complete without this. Make sure you generously season with some brown sugar. And with a cut this big, don't forget to season both sides. So flip it over and repeat the process. Now we're in business and ready for the smoker. Alright guys, we're now nine hours into this cook and I am yet to actually open it and take a peek at it and see what it's doing. Uh, I'm super excited to see it, but what we're going to do now is we're going to pull it off of the barbecue. We're going to wrap it in some foil uh, because it seems that it's kind of just been sitting at this temperature. It's at 161 right now and we kind of need to speed up that cooking process. So 
the best way to do that is wrap it in foil and we got to get it done pretty quick here so we're gonna wrap it in foil and then see what happens but let's take a peek and see how good this thing looks let's see it oh man look at that Ooh. It's getting a nice crust to it. Oh man. Switch this temperature gauge over here so it doesn't fall. Right, let's do this. Alright guys, now we gotta make sure we wrap her up good here. Cause it is. Okay, hunker. That. Ooh so you just want to wrap it. Nice and good to make sure the thermometer stays in there. All right, now we want to be careful placing this guy back in here. Get right back where it was. All right guys, so we've officially finished the pork shoulder. It's been sitting in the cooler and resting for the past 35, 45 minutes or so. So we're gonna pull it out and take a look and see if it's done to perfection and give it a taste test. So let's see that now. This is the same now? Yeah. Oh, yum. Okay, it is yummy. Oh. Here, oh no, there's a knife there. Let's switch it. Here, maybe Papa can hold you. Nice yeah, warm in there. Oh man, what? it's still warm in there. It's still hot. Let me tell. Hot from underneath it. And there it is. Guys, it's time to... Chucky, do you want to do the honors? I do. Since you're dressed like a flamboyant cowboy. Like a flamboyant cowboy. That's me. That's great ham. Ham? Pork. <laughs> definitely pork. pork, pork definitely, ham. definitely a pork shoulder. Pork Not shoulder. a ham. You're the ham. He's a pork shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see if I can show you guys the smoke ring again. Pull a piece off here. If you could see that pink in there, from the nice smoke ring, and it's still cooking hot after letting it rest for what was it, 45 minutes. So let's give it a shot. It's yummy. Oh man, it's got a really good flavor. You can taste a little bit, a little bit of the heat from the cayenne pepper, and just enough of that sweetness from the brown sugar, but. Oh, and it's soft and moist. Moist. Well, anyway, guys, we're gonna get the shred in this thing. We got some rolls in the oven so we can make some pulled pork sandwiches out of it. All right, guys, so here's what you're gonna need to make your perfect pulled pork sandwich. One is a homemade roll. And if you guys are at all interested in learning how to make these homemade rolls, my mother-in-law's got the perfect recipe. We can show you guys how to do it. But grab yourself a little knife here. Put your roll open a little bit there. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Ooh, look at that, it's nice and fluffy. You add in your pulled pork here. Uh, it's a little bit fatty piece. You're still gonna get a couple fatty pieces in there, but that's all right, look at that meat. And now here's where you can choose if you're gonna add barbecue sauce or not. I think this stuff was so good with the dry rub, so let's give it a taste test. Oh, man. Definitely no sauce needed. Man. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more cooks just like this one. 
uh, and showing you guys how to make more good food. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Brews and Barbecue. We'll see you guys later.